Electricity 101 with Mimi and Coco. What happens when power goes out? Hey there, my name is Mimi. And my name is Coco. Today we will try to figure out what happens when the power goes out. Coco, brown out? Not so fast. Let's check first our breaker if it's functioning correctly. Circuit breakers typically look like this. They have a main breaker that controls everything and branch breakers that are assigned to specific electrical components at different parts of the house like kitchen lights, bedroom outlets, water pump, etc. The first thing you do when power goes out is to check if the main breaker and branch breakers are at the on position. If yes, then there is a possible outage. You can contact Meko to verify. If no, flip it back to the on position. If it stays at the on position, then power should be back to normal. If the main breaker goes back to the off position after you turn it on, then there could be a problem with the branch breaker. Do the following then. First, turn off all the breakers in the panel. Then, turn on the main breaker. Lastly, turn on the branch breakers one by one. If one of the branch breaker switches causes the main breaker switch to trip off, then that's where the problem or the short circuit is located. You can leave that particular branch switch off while you contact qualified personnel to fix it. The rest of the breaker switches, including the main breaker switch, can be turned back on. This is the same principle, though a bit more complicated, with Meko's power distribution system. The feeder breakers act as the main breaker, while the reclosers and sectional fuse cutouts act as branch breaker for smaller areas. Let's say strong winds cause a branch of a tree to touch and short the lines momentarily, or a lightning strike hits an electric post. This will cause the feeder breaker to trip as a safety measure, just in case someone gets electrocuted or to avoid sudden surge of power that will damage your appliances. When this happens, we immediately try to turn the feeder breaker back on to restore power. Hence, the occurrence of momentary outages. If power won't turn back on, then we will send our clearing team to trace the line and determine where the problem is located. Calling Meko to report a problem, like sparks on the line and explosions, will speed up the restoration process. Once we determine where the problem is located, we will isolate that area so we can power up everyone else while we are still fixing the problem. Unscheduled outages can be caused by a lot of factors like trees, animals, weather, accidents, etc. Therefore, it's hard to predict when they will happen. While we can perform mitigating measures to avoid them, we can't really stop them. All we can do is try to fix them as soon as possible. Finally, consuming one kilowatt hour of electricity is enough to cook three times with a medium-sized rice cooker. That's already for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that will only cost you less than 10 pesos. Your bill will only increase if you use your electrical appliances longer or add more devices that consumes power. There is no power consumed during brownouts, and when power is restored, your appliances will only consume what it normally needs to function. Ah, so it is not true that your bill will double because of outages.